Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, photographer and web pioneer, Nick Knight. Welcome. This is a big moment for me. I've wanted to interview Nick for a long, long time, so I'm really Good very honoured and I'm very excited this is happening, so thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, there's so much to talk about with where you have started and where you're at now. Right. So I think what we should do is really work in chronological order. Okay. I'll try. I'm not very good at that. I'll help you. Um, and we've got some slides coming up of some of your work as well, which we're okay. going to see while we talk. So I really want to talk about how you began. And I did read that you wanted to be a medic, a doctor in the beginning. Yeah. And how did you go from that decision to being the photographer that you are today? Um, the decision was really made for me. Um, basically, I, like most kids, grew up not really knowing what I wanted to do, sort of drifted through my teenage years, trying different things out. My mother always said, oh, you should be a doctor. So... Because your father was a psychologist. My father was a psychologist, my brother was a physicist, and my mother was a physiotherapist. Okay. So... So you um, were very healthy? Mm, something like that. Not really, no, but at least um, I knew a little bit what was going on in my mind. But um, anyway, so uh, through parental guidance, I was, went towards medical school. I, my, most teenagers, I didn't do much work and therefore didn't get into medical school and then end up, ended up going to study human biology at Chelsea College, University of London. I got there, realised I didn't want to be there, had applied to Bournemouth and Poole College of Art, more or less as a joke, to be honest, um, the year before. And uh, I spent a year at Chelsea basically not doing any work at all, got chucked out at the end of the first year and went and took my place at Bournemouth and Poole College of Art. So the decision was really made for me, really. I didn't sort of, um, I didn't have the sort of find out what being a doctor was like and then give it up. It was actually, I never got there. Okay. But however, ever since, I've always had a slight regret that I didn't do something that perhaps you know, might have been more worthwhile or more you know, benefit to society.